Well, I wasn't really going to make a video on this one, but I got interest in it. So I just have it clamped up to the angle plate so it's drilling 90 degrees. Uh, mixture between baby oil, the um, paraffin oil, which is what you find in Tiki Torch fuel. And it just eats through this aluminum like nothing. grabbed instead of the bit snapping it out of your hands it just slips about then you just I just took the angle grinder to it to clean it up and before anybody throws a fit about using the angle grinder on it, I have bits designed for aluminum. Or I got discs and stuff designed for cutting aluminum. Okay. No, on the, on the bottom.
Okay, I want an eighth inch one on the back and one on the front. The this was seven sixteenths, which is for the quarter inch MPT. Put that back away. And for eighth inch NPT, it is twenty one sixty fourths. Seems awfully small for pipe threads. I'll go check it out and I might have to redraw those two. Those ones look right. I'll come back and start drew tapping everything. I guess it was the right size. And yeah, I'm putting the tap in a drill chuck. I like using this because I could take the flat belt here. I just pull down on this to tap it. So, let's see if I can get to the good angle here. That'll give me a good start to get the tap in to do a full tap. And one on top here. Okay, let's take it over to the bench and finish tapping over there. That should be deep enough for that one.
this is where the um, pressure regulator tube goes out on the normal one. So I figured I'd put it back in the right pl same place. That usually looks really good. I'll be back when I get the quarter inch pipe taps. Okay, I got it. Oops, you did not see that. It's too big to fit in the drill press to start it. All of the reds look good. Just blow it out real good and we'll stick it on the air compressor. I'll take a drill, large drill bit and just get rid of the burrs first, of course. Yeah, I'll be back when I start putting it together. Okay, I got this all torn apart. Just took it off. This is the line for the regulator. Um, right under here there's a screw here and one on the far back corner too. On the far back corner in the back. And then this whole thing just slides right off. Um, I just got these kind of half screwed in but easily done back out. I don't have any Teflon tape. I thought I did, and but I don't. And it looks funky, but I don't care how it looks as long as it works. And with seven eighths to almost an inch on each corner, 
you're not going to blow that thing out. That port back there, I thought I had the piece for it, but it's just a hair too small. It won't fit, it's too small. So I'll have to go uptown and get some more Teflon tape and some a bigger hose barb, which I'll do it into a 90 out with a small pipe nipple and go that way so that when it's there it is there I dropped in so when it is all together the hose can come over plug right into that hose barb tighten the hose clamp up after tightening everything down and you got a brand new air compressor also you might laugh but those are hockey pucks on the feet I drilled them out and just put a hold on sorry put a washer and a bolt in the bottom and just screwed them right into the bottom of the tank it had holes already threaded out and the legs so I just used those just thread those right in and when I got the tank or the compressor it didn't have the feet on it the manifold was busted and it wouldn't even turn on. I got to turn on, got the feet replaced, and now manifold's not on it still, but it's yeah. And I made a slight modification. This was not in here in the last video. I went back in and put it in. That way I could take and have the um, a plug here so if later on down the road if I want to take and add another quick connect or whatever I can have it but that is the air compressor manifold kind of a bad glare but and it is turned a little bit. I I just need to tighten it up with some Teflon tape on it to s completely seal everything up. But like I said, I don't have any Teflon. Okay, that's about all I have to show on this. It's pretty much done until I get stuff to finish it. Thanks for watching.